Guys, bees are crazy. Like, look at these guys. All they do is just chill, hang out. You know, they're just trying to have some fun. They have a queen bee. They have, you know, their honey. Bees are bad ass. I recently learned that bees are endangered. Well, I don't know if they're endangered or not, but like, I, I learned that like a type of bees endangered. I don't listen. I'm no expert on bees, but we need to leave these guys alone. And you know what we should do instead? We should be checking out the deep web. So with that being said, welcome to episode six of Deep Web Exploring. Where every kind of all right, the first website we're visiting is called Dread. Now, Dread was up for a bit, I believe, and then got taken down. Um, but I learned that it's back up. And to make it simple, Dread is basically like Reddit, but for the deep web. And just like Reddit, they have a bunch of um, subreddits, or what they call subdreads. <laughs> which is pretty pretty cool and uh, basically this site is all about um, sharing knowledge people talk about different types of uh, cryptocurrency they talk if if frauds if they're frauds or if things are legit or scams and I would say it's fairly fairly active I, I, you know it's it says you know you automatically get connected to dread when you sign in so i would say this is the number of maybe total users so 15,000 you know that's quite a bit of people and there's different things you can do you can create a subreddit uh you can log in you can register like you can have your own account i have my own account um but i just didn't log in for this video um for privacy purposes um, and then there's different kind of uh, there's subreddits here this is the dread subreddit um, there's a front page um, and then you can subscribe to, to subreddits just like you can in reddit um, and it shows you who the moderators are so um, I thought this was a really useful website especially if you have questions about things deep web related and you know they might not be safe for for reddit um, but reddit does a good job of of, um, of helping you guys out too so um, so yeah so with that being said let's just get on to the next website so this next website is called deep dot web and this place is basically a news um, news website for things that happen on the deep web or any deep web related um, things so as you can see it shows a bunch of news articles that you wouldn't normally see um, it also shows you like the top markets um, and their available availability statuses so dream market um, it shows you I think I believe these are the percentages of people that um, said that it was like good like had positive um, reviews for these markets um, so there's all these different, you know, news stories you can read up on, um, see if you click on one, it shows the date and it shows you, you can comment on it. I think if you have an account, I don't have an account on here. Um, and then it shows you other news articles. So this is basically like any other news article website, but just on the deep web. See like other people know about, about this. And they also have, um, on their menu, they have home, news and articles, markets list, markets chart, uh, VPNs chart, Bitcoin casinos, uh, I think it's Bitcoin mixer, questions and answers, videos, and contact us. So they have like lists of different marketplaces that you can go to. Um, so this is a really useful website. Um, I just found this so I I think I've scrolled through here like once or twice um, and read a couple articles um, I haven't been here too often but um, I think I'll definitely visit this as long as they keep uh, 
keep updated with all the articles. It's definitely uh, an interesting place. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's go on to the next website. All right, so the next website is called Dream Market, and I've never been on this before. Um, I just made a new account and named it James22. Uh, so here you can buy drugs and digital goods, drugs paraphernalia, services, and other. <laughs> um, now before I show this website, I just want to say this is for educational purposes only, and I do not endorse um, the use of drugs, nor do I endorse uh, the, the selling and the purchase of drugs. Um, this is for educational purposes only. Uh, so here you can see there's different drugs. This is the psychedelic frog is that venom from from the frog, I guess. Um, I watched a, like a documentary on Vice about that. Um, about people like burning themselves. There's this guy Hamilton, and he burns himself and puts puts venom in his wounds. Um, you can buy credit cards right here. I think somebody in the comments on my last video was asking about credit cards. Um, uh, yeah, so this place definitely has credit cards. Um, you can buy MDMA here. Basically, any drug you want, you can get it here. You could get Taco Bell for free. <laughs> oh, okay, well. And unlimited Uber rides. That's, you know, that's awesome. I Let's see what's in other. You can buy counterfeits, electronics, jewelry, lab supplies, miscellaneous, and defense. So... You can buy watches. They sell watches. They have. <laughs> is this just a tip jar? Okay. I want to look at electronics. I want to see what kind of electronics they have. I'm kind of curious. You can buy some iPhones. And it shows you the price right here. Um, let's see what happens if I click on one of these. So let's see what happens if I click on the Samsung Note 8. So it shows you the Samsung Note. It shows you how much it costs, and that's cool. It actually shows you the the dollar uh, amount. So 165. That's not bad. I, I don't know anything about the Note 8 actually, but uh, I, I don't even know if it's new or old. Um, it gives you all the specs here. It looks a little old actually. Maybe old. Is it old? I don't listen. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not up to date on the phones. This guy says don't buy from the seller. So that's cool that you can like, you know, rate them. It's basically like eBay. Um. Well, that's Dream Market, and um, you know, I'm not sure, but this is the rated the number one marketplace on the deep web. But with that being said, let's uh, move on to the next uh, website. All right, so this website is called Intel Exchange. Um, now, what I gathered is that this place is a place to share information of all kinds, and it categorizes everything. Um, so you can talk, you know, general discussion, current events, links and resources, uh, idea and plan factory. You know, there's all these different kinds of... Uh, categories you can make a username right here so let's let's go into general discussion we always got to go to general discussion let's check this out am I the only one who sees this is this someone's manifesto nuclear the page oh, oh. oh shit pizza gate would you look at that creating tour website Weird place and beyond. Hmm. I'm kind of a. Uh... Let's back up again. This post is. Oh, let's recap the previous thread created by. Not many creators. The whole thing had a website which linked to the thread. I will not talk about each action that was taken to find the information. One because I don't know every single step. What is this site? 
I don't want to go to the site. The site seems down. This seems... No, this is too cryptic. This is... <laughs> This is too cryptic for me to be here. Um, yeah, that's going to be a no for me. Uh, MK Info. Ross Ulbricht. <laughs> Will the NSA ever be beat? <laughs> beat. What VPN you... you why, don't, why wouldn't you just ask that? <laughs> the normal on reddit or something i don't know i don't okay well uh let's see am i the only one who sees this let's see what this guy sees hey guys it's me again so i was wondering who else sees this and the reason for my question is that while i realize that so many people are oblivious to what is in front of them no one recognizes what it is doing in their life in the in their world like so many others before me i thirst for justice and truth in this world and while i recognize uh, that is a me problem. It disgusts me. There is so much corruption in this world. ISIS, rapists getting less of a sentence than those who expose them. Murderers who get short sentences for murders who get short sentences for misdemeanor. Police not protecting the people. Corrupt politicians and the threat of World War Three looming over us. The one percent who control everything. Blah, 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 blah. I can't do much myself, but I have been trying to prove my points to people closest to me, and I get shot down by them because it hits too close to home. I wish I could take matters into my own hands, but I don't have the smarts or um, to hack or the skill to become a real threat to society's um, normal. I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want people to open their eyes. Anyone else have this problem with today's norm or society? Um... So this guy says his feelings are unusual. So I think this is just a thread talking about how, you know, it's like a anti-government. Like, well, I wouldn't say it's anti-government. I would say it's more like, I don't know. He feels bad about the corruption in the world, which, you know, that sucks. Yeah, there is corruption in the world. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, well, that was interesting. Thank you, Flower Maku, for <laughs> giving us some insight. Uh, so yeah, this website, you know, I could spend hours here looking at each of these, uh, topics and this is just the topics that are in the general discussion. There's far more topics, I assume. Uh, but I don't want to stay here all day. Um, you guys could definitely visit this place and look for it yourself. Um, so yeah. And if you need the websites, they're all right up here. So just, you know, just. I don't know. Look closely and and just type that in if you want to visit this. Um, I did made a tutorial. My last video was a tutorial on how to access Tor from your phone. So if you want to like follow along with any of the things I do while you're watching on a computer or something, you can just whip out your phone and look through this stuff yourself. Um, but with that with, with that being said, let's move on to the next website. So I very quickly wanted to uh, touch on uh, the website called Torch. I'm sure some of you already know what Torch is, but it's um, more or less the, the Google of the deep web. Um, it kind of scans a bunch of different places uh, for what you're searching for. Um, I think these are all advertisements. Um, so yeah, you can search anything here. You can search, I don't know, <laughs> FBI. <laughs> and... Uh, and it'll show you a bunch of um, a bunch of results for it, um, and yeah, so you can you can it shows you the results one out of ten of five thousand five hundred thirty five. <laughs> it's, it's trying to show off. It only took zero point nine six five seconds, but you could do relevancy, last modified date, or the title. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to touch on this really quick. If you ever needed to go to Torch to search anything up, I, I don't necessarily use Torch too much. Um, I guess like when I'm bored or I have time, I'll try to like find some interesting things by typing in some keywords. Um, but as you can see, like some stuff is in other languages, and I wouldn't say it's it's the most organized way to search things. But you can definitely find a lot of 
a lot of things using this. I think I, I found a couple of websites um, on here that have led me to other websites, you know, and um, so I definitely think this is a useful tool to use. Um, so I just wanted to touch on that very quickly, um, but let's go ahead and move on to the next website. All right, so here's a website that I found that both made me laugh and uh, probably the most unique website I found on here. It's called Recipe Roulette. I don't know why it's on the deep web, but you know, some people have their their uh, their reasons. So as you can see, you can make some tarragon Dijon chicken, and it's a recipe. But if you click on here, it gives you a, br a brand new <laughs> recipe. <laughs> So now you can make chili dogs. Um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you could just keep uh, clicking on this, and it'll give you new recipes to make, and and the method and notes. So if you're really into cooking, this might be the deep website for you. Smoked breast of veal burritos. Um, I'm not much of a cook. I, uh, get most of my nutrients from fast food places. So, uh, yeah. So that, this is not the, this is not for me. Um, I mean, it could be for me. I need to start cook. I really should probably start cooking, but I'm going to keep eating until I'm, until I'm on that TLC show where they have to film me in my recovery back from being fat I mean I'm not fat I don't want you guys to assume I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fat man I'm not um, I'm actually really skinny but I'll be there soon enough <laughs> um, all right so that was recipe roulette TM and uh, yeah so let's get on with it so this website's called no scam observer and this one is well basically what it just says like it shows you the websites that are scams um, so it's just a list so if you have if you are about to buy from a web website you should come here and check to see if it's a scam or not um, and it shows you so scam no return scam this is a fake shop fake wiki um, See, this one's a, a hidden wiki. So every it just shows you the types of scams they are, and it's a huge list. You know, it has different different things, and a lot of these things I don't endorse at all, but uh, it's just good to know if you're being scammed or not. It's good to know, you know, I, I don't, I've yet to buy anything from the deep web, and I'm not sure if I will, but if I ever do someday, I'll probably check it on here to see if it's a scam. Um, but this is just a neat little helpful website. Um, so this check the validity of our website by clicking here. Oh, would you look at that? Um, but yeah, that was a really quick one. And uh, yeah, so let's move on. Alright, so thanks for staying patient with me, guys. Um, I know it took me a while to release this video. I've just been really busy, and I know, you know, you guys are interested to hear that, but uh, I'll keep producing videos for you guys, for sure. Um, you know, I'm going to try to make it once every week or once every couple weeks. I'm going to try to have a new video for you guys. I'm really going to, you know, um, get to work on making these. And also, I really, I, I want to announce that I have a... Um, a patreon now so you guys could go over there and if you wanna uh, subscribe to my patreon you definitely can uh, if not no pressure uh, but if you do subscribe to my patreon uh, I can give you guys some links I can make you know a, a whole document where I have like a list of all the links I visit in these videos as well as links that I don't show in these videos links that I just didn't have time to put in here, links that I that didn't make the cut, or just like new links that I think are interesting and I can update that weekly if you guys want to. So, if you guys feel for, uh feel like um subscribing to my Patreon, I I'm new to it so I don't really know how to use it, but um 
it's I made it recently, so you know, um, feel free. That'd be great. And then I might think about making some cool T-shirts eventually. Um, I don't want you guys to think that I'm turning this into a business or anything. I'm still gonna be releasing the exact same videos. I'm still gonna keep these things ad free. Um, I definitely want to keep these videos light to the point and you know educational and a, a little bit humorous you know so uh, but those are just you know my two ways of maybe making a quick buck or two so yeah thanks for sticking with me you guys I appreciate you and I, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video so I'll see you in the next episode